If you've ever been suspicious of which Facebook is reporting, or have seen your ad account go from having days that are absolutely amazing to days that are costing you dollars by the minute, or you've clicked this video just to have a better understanding of what attribution actually means inside of Facebook, today's video, I'm gonna break down everything you need to know about attribution inside of Facebook ads to show you exactly how to understand the data that Facebook provides. What's going on everyone, it's Spencer here. If you're new to the channel, I actually run a growth focus agency by the name of Easy A Media, where we help multiple six and seven figure Shopify brands scale their sales profitably. And in today's video, like I mentioned at the beginning, we're gonna be diving deeper into Facebook's attribution and how to actually understand it so that you can scale your ads effectively and actually figure out whether or not your ads are really performing. At our agency, we work with all different kinds of brands. Some of our brands solely rely on Facebook ads and we can measure pretty easily whether or not our ads are having an impact on total sales. And then on the other side, we have some brands that have a massive organic presence and Facebook ads really don't have as much as an impact on their bottom line. But no matter your scenario, it's so important to make sure you can clearly understand the data that Facebook is reporting so you can make better decisions based on that data that you have to grow your business a lot more efficiently and ultimately make more profit. Now with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the screen and a little bit more about Facebook's attribution models. We're now inside the ad set level and I've gone ahead and just created a dummy campaign here just to show you what the attribution settings look like. And while you're setting up your ad set and obviously optimizing for purchase conversions, you'll notice there's a blue link here that says show more options. By clicking this link, it will open up the actual attribution settings that Facebook has. As you can see, Facebook is telling you actually what these attribution settings mean. So for example, with a one day click and view setting, our system would learn from conversions that happen within a day and show ads to people likely to convert within that day. Facebook has two ways to optimize conversions for you and basically apply attribution inside of the ads manager based on the events that happen within that time period. So in this instance right here, which is the default setting of seven day click and one day view, this means that if someone clicks your ad and within seven days of clicking your ad actually go and purchase, Facebook will take attribution for that and give credit to whatever ad the person actually clicked. And if we look at view through, you'll be able to see that this is set on one day, which basically just means that if your ad is shown to someone and within a 24 hour period, they then purchase on your store, Facebook will also take attribution for that as well. Now you'll notice if you actually toggle this, that there are only two options for Facebook's click through data, seven days and one day. Again, the default for Facebook is always gonna be seven days. And the reason why we also recommend using seven days for click through attribution is because we want Facebook to have access to as much data as possible. Now, if you are a brand that is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars per month, sometimes you might play around with the click through attribution and actually move to a one day click window. But for most people, you're just going to want to stick on seven day click through attribution, which is going to be again, the default and what we recommend to use inside of your ad account. Now, if we look at the view through attribution, you'll see that there's the option to select none or to select one day. And again, because we want Facebook to have as much data as possible to work with, we always recommend using one day view. We have tested just seven day clicks and zero view through attribution, but we find that just leaving it on the one day view helps Facebook Facebook continue to learn and optimize with the data that it has. Now there is a new attribution setting down here called engage view, but that's only on specific accounts. So you don't have to worry about this for now. The main point that I want to get at with all of this is there are four attribution windows that you can use seven day click and one day view, seven day click and zero day view, one day click and one day view, one day click and zero day view. We have tested all of these different attribution combinations and we have found that seven day click and one day view always leads to the best overall results. Now for all of you that are currently running ads, no matter what your campaign structure is Facebook will report results or purchases within that attribution setting. So again, if someone clicks an ad on Monday and purchases within seven days of clicking that ad, so say for example, they purchase on Friday, Facebook will then report that as a result inside of the results column here. If someone views your ad on Monday and then actually purchases Monday night, Facebook will also apply attribution inside of this results column here. Now, this is where most people will stop, but because we're we're going to dive in deeper. I'm going to show you how to actually see view through versus click through data right inside of your ad account. So what you're going to do is you're going to click your columns over here. If you don't see it, then just click the three bars and you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to click compare attribution settings. By clicking that, it's going to pull up a tab that says, would you like to look at one day view, one day engage, one day click, seven day click or 28 day click. What you're going to select is one day view, one day click and seven day click 
and click apply three comparisons. Now you'll notice Facebook is actually going to divvy up all of this data based on each attribution setting. Now you're probably wondering, why do I care about this? The reason why you should care because click-through data to us at the agency represents and shows us that our ads are actually getting clicks and are actually leading to conversions compared to ads that might just be running in the feed to existing customers and not really doing a whole lot other than collecting attribution. If someone is clicking your ad and purchasing within 24 hours, that's a pretty powerful ad. And the reason why that's important is because we've realized that the agency, that will dictate how scalable your ads actually are. And if we do some quick math to do 134 divided by 214, you'll see that about 58% of our purchases are actually coming within 24 hours of people clicking our ad. That's a pretty solid ad. And you'll see here that only 49 of our 214 total purchases actually came from this one day view attribution window. Now, if we dive deeper, we can actually see our CPA per attribution. Again, our total blended CPA here was about $60, but our our CPA on seven day click was about 77, which again is a good number for us. And we'd like to see that our click based attribution data is leading inside of the ad account. Because again, if you're getting people to click your ad and purchase, that typically means they're more effective ads. And just to be clear as well, if you add up the seven day click and one day view purchases, as you can see, you will get the total amount of purchases that Facebook has actually reported. And you can also see over here, the splits between everyone's favorite return on ad spend. So inside of here, we can see that in total, this account was at a 3.18 return on ad spend and 0.57 of that came from view through attribution and 2.6 of that came from click based attribution, which tells us again that these ads are probably going to be a lot more scalable compared to another account that I'm going to pull up right now. Now, if we take a look at this account over here, you'll notice that last week we had 140 of our 192 purchases actually come from one day view, which if we do the math, 140 divided by 192 is about 73 percent of total purchases have just come from this one day view attribution window. Now, if your ad account looks like this, it's typically because of the following reasons. Number one, you're probably targeting wide open, which means you're not excluding previous customers or people who have previously purchased. And if you have a product that people can buy over and over again, Facebook is smart enough to know that those people are more likely to purchase compared to people who don't know anything about you. And depending on how many customers you have, Facebook is just going to keep showing ads to those people. And I can actually confirm that for this client, as as you can see last week, our frequency was about a 3.36, which is pretty high. Another reason why you might have heavy view through attribution is because you have other sources that are actually driving a lot more revenue than your Facebook ad account. For example, this client in particular has a massive organic presence and is also spending 10 times as much with us over on Google ads, which means that our Google ads and our organic presence are doing a lot of the heavy lifting to get customers into the business. And Facebook is basically just saying, hey, I want some attribution too and I'm going to show some ads to these people who are already worn, take my attribution and make you spend more money on my platform. So as you can see in this instance, if we were to just look at this Facebook ad account and see a 16x return on ad spend, we might think let's spend as much money as we can on these ads and keep scaling. But if you actually dive deeper into the data and understand what's happening, we're still doing a decent job of getting a 4x on our click data. But if we were to try to scale this aggressively, which for most people who are getting the 16 to one return would empty their bank accounts on this, that this would definitely not scale and would not maintain because the majority of our conversion data is on view through attribution, which means Facebook is just showing ads to people who are already likely to purchase and not really doing a lot of prospecting. A lot of the times when you see ads that aren't really getting a lot of spend inside of Facebook and you're looking at, you know, your prospecting ad or the bad ad that has a lower return on ad spend. And that ad that isn't getting as much spend has a prettier return on ad spend. Most of the time, it's just view through attribution that that ad is picking up. And the ad that's getting more spend and is having to do all the work has a lower return because Facebook is forcing it to prospect where the other ad that just gets a lower amount of spend and can be shown to the same people over and over. Now the question is, is how do we overcome this? And how do we force Facebook to get us more healthy click data compared to just hogging attribution all the time? Well, if you ask us, there's basically three ways to do it. Number one, you can create better ads. Ads. And by creating better ads and having a better strategy on the ads that you create, Facebook will actually take those ads and do a lot more prospecting for you, which is exactly what happened in this account when we launched a new DCT and it started taking all the spend and actually started outperforming. The second thing that you can do is you can force Facebook to start doing more prospecting for you simply by excluding previous and past purchasers. If you're wondering how to do that, just download your customer list from Shopify or create a custom audience using the Facebook pixel and just make sure you exclude that audience inside 
inside of each and all of your ad sets. And the third way around it is you can install a third-party attribution tool, which my favorite is Triple Whale Analytics. And as you can see, we're now inside of Triple Whale Analytics, and we're actually going to have a little bit better attribution and more freedom on moving around our attribution models. Inside of this account, we are currently looking at triple attribution plus views. And over the last week, we have been at a 20.78 X return on ad spend, which is actually higher than Facebook reported. But with the click of a button, we can go to triple attribution and now get way better insights on what our click attribution data is, which over here you can see has now cut this return on ad spend in half. And now for my favorite part of Triple Whale and why I recommend clients who are omni-channel or are getting heavy view through attribution to actually go ahead and download this for their brand is because you can use their total impact model, which will actually chop it down even further and give you a way better understanding of the impact your ad platforms are actually having on your business as a whole. And if you want to see more information on this, I actually have a video on this on my channel, which you can check out using the link down below. And now by using a model like total impact, you'll be able to see that as much as I would love to tell our clients that we're at a 22x return on ad spend, the reality is, is we're closer to a four to a five X return on ad spend when considering all of the other attribution sources in this client's business. Because as you can see, a lot of their sales are coming from SMS and organic, which if we're taking credit for what these other platforms are doing, which Facebook loves to do, can lead to us wasting money and scaling ads improperly, which is something that we see so many brands do on a day-to-day -day basis. So again, the reason why it's so important to know your numbers is number one, you want to have confidence when you're scaling your account. You don't want to be scaling data that is based off of other channels. You want to be scaling Facebook based off the performance that Facebook is actually giving you. Number two, you can end up wasting a lot of money on platforms like Facebook simply by thinking you're getting a better return than you actually are. And number three, if you're working with an agency, you might be getting overcharged like crazy based on performance that isn't actually adding up. As you can see, this client did about $45,000 in sales last week, and Triple Whale has allowed us to divvy up that attribution across all of their platforms. If we're to switch this attribution model to triple attribution plus views, you can see it's now reporting close to triple the amount of conversion value as it's giving attribution to each and every single platform. And if you're wondering, Facebook doesn't care about other platforms. If Facebook got a purchase, it's gonna report its purchase. So if you are working with an agency, you could be getting charged massive performance fees right now for work that they're not even responsible for. So all in all, that's why it is so important to know your numbers, understand the attribution windows, and be able to dive deeper into the data so you can actually figure out what is going on and you can scale your performance a lot more confidently and a lot more profitably. So that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, I just asked to click the share button down below and send it over to someone else who you think could get value from this video by sharing this with a friend or someone else that you know in the space. It can help you provide value to someone else. And as always, if you're a multiple six or seven figure Shopify brand looking for the help of a growth focused agency, I'd highly recommend book a call with me down below to get your custom growth plan. With that said, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got a lot of value and I will see you next week.